As promised, guys, here it is. Is it a 27 or a 28? Seven? 1927 Model T. Big block Chevy. A little bit of firewall work. More. Okay, guys, so this is the, uh, the next project we got in the shop here. It's a 1927 Tall T. Uh, it's on a custom chassis. Uh, it's been chopped nine inches. Got quite a few modifications to it. Uh, I understand it's a 454, about 550 horse. And uh, got to modify the firewall and do a bunch of sheet metal work on the inside. I'll just show you here. <clears throat> show off the tripod. Pretty nice looking chassis underneath it. Uh, the 454 is pretty tight in here. So I have to finish off the lower part of the firewall. I have to make clearance for the distributor so it's able to come out of there. A uh, little dimple for the transmission dipstick on the inside. Uh, the gas tank goes in between the frame rails here. I have to build a turtle deck and a floor over top of it. Close in the side panels a little bit and then I have to put a trunk floor in it with a battery box and place for a little toolbox. So uh, it's probably going to take a few weeks to get all this done. Not too much needed for a transmission tunnel. Should work out really well. So anyhow, I'll show you the process as we go and uh, We'll go from there, so uh, hope you enjoy uh, what's happening on this car. Okay, so we've got, uh, I, what I did was I figured out what I need for clearances and how to make this uh, firewall modification look uh, nice and uh, like it was uh, had some thought into it. So once I got figured out what I have to remove and what I have to replace, I pulled the motor and trans out. So I've got uh, marks on here. I'm gonna cut that lower section off of the firewall anywhere there's an X. These pieces are gonna get removed. I'm gonna take it down the side here and we're gonna weld it to the edge like they have done. Taper it in a little bit. Uh, on the sides, I'm going to take the, the new piece of firewall and I'm going to curve it in and down so that it's got some flow to it. And then in the center here, we're going to put a curved dep depression in that will uh, allow clearance for the distributor as well as being able to pull the distributor out while, uh, while the motor's in the car. So. Uh, next, I'm going to start dissecting and taking some parts and pieces out of here and then uh, we'll start fabricating uh, the new firewall. Okay, so we've got all the uh, old crap cut out. Starting fresh here. <clears throat> next thing I'm going to do is uh, make a pattern. Get everything set up to uh, start cutting steel. So I've got it trimmed off just to my line, got the curve put in, and then I got this floppy edge taken off of here. So next I'm going to get the uh, beer case cad out and figure out uh, the replacement here. Hey guys, here we are, it's Sunday. Uh, <clears throat> kind of got sidetracked on this project. Uh, turned out I uh, had to lift the engine and trans up an inch to get a little more ground clearance on the oil pans and just to uh, make the engine fit better and look a little better here. So I'll show you what I had to do. Hopefully I'm going to get back onto firewall now. Uh, good thing we did it prior to. But <clears throat> so I had to cut the, uh, the original mounts off the frame 
and raised them up an inch. I built new uh, side brackets for them. I wasn't happy with the way they were. They only went down the side of the box tubing frame about an inch and a quarter. Uh, I've got a full three inches now plus the bracket on the top here. And then on the underside, I had to completely rework the, uh, the tranny mount. Uh, this is the old one here. It just wouldn't work at all. <clears throat> it uh, was meant for a turbo 350 behind a small block. And things are just a little different with uh, the big block. So I'll just show you what we got. If I can get under here, so get some light. So there's the uh, the bracket I had to make. I took the uh, I had to cut the top out of the cross member that supports the body and thin it down and then build this cross member that comes down so it forms a complete square so it's super strong and shouldn't be any issues. The the tranny cross member is actually a little bit above the transmission oil pan so. Uh, we should be good there. I'm just going to start laying out my firewall now. Uh, I'm not going to trim it up any higher, but I am going to have to uh, raise the opening for the distributor just a little bit so that a person can get the distributor out uh, without pulling the engine. Uh, as far as interference inside the cab, with raising the uh, the transmission, very very little. I'm going to have to put about a three quarter inch uh, hump in there, and then uh, whatever we're going to put for tow boards and stuff up at the front there. So I'm going to start uh, making a pattern for doing the uh, the firewall, and then the uh, the engine and trans can come out. It's been in and out now uh, five times, so one more time and we'll be on the way, so stay tuned. Okay guys, I got the cardboard template all laid out, uh, cut to size. Uh, I've got, uh, this is the distributor center line, the transmission center line, the whole piece, uh, I cut it a little bit oversized in height as well as width and then uh, once I pull the engine I can start bending this and getting it all uh, shaped up and put it in there. So once I, I get to starting on uh, the sheet metal work here, I'll uh, carry on with another video. I think this one's getting long enough here. So anyhow guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.